I don't do anything macho, man. I know. I don't go. I never go parachute. One of the reasons why I hear too many weird stories about people going parachuting. There was a guy who went parachuting. Parachute did not open. Fell to the ground. Bounced twice. And lived. Did you hear about this? True story. I'm not making this up. Man went parachuting. He jumped out of a plane. Parachute did not open. Fell to the ground. Bounced twice. Lived. Bounced. <laughs> Bounce is the key word, folks. Do you know how hard you have to hit the ground to bounce one time? I'm sure we've all tripped and fallen once in our lives. You didn't bounce, did you? This man had some momentum behind him. Now they said, they said what saved his life was that he was able, first of all, the man fell a mile and a half in the air. Fell, a mile and a half, just fall. Just, I think you could scream that long. <laughs> Mile and a half, I think you'd be hoarse halfway down, man. You're just humming your way the rest of the way down. <laughs> There's some guy watering his lawn. <laughs> Biggest damn hummingbird I've ever seen. part was they said that he was able to save his life by getting into the spread eagle position. I know some of you thinking that saved your life many a night also. I don't think we're talking about the same thing here. The sp spread eagle position of parachute, basically if you jump out of a plane and put your hands to your side, you're streamlined, you fall very quickly. However, if you go like this and lean into the wind, body friction will slow you down. So the theory was this man was falling 600 miles an hour. <laughs> Quickly jumped in the spread eagle position. <laughs> now he's falling 599 miles an hour. He's thinking, I got a chance now, boy. <laughs> You've fallen 600 miles an hour. You do, you're desperate. You'd do anything to save your life. You would. You'd grab a damn sparrow if you could. <laughs> you would. <laughs> you fall. Oh! <laughs> you with me how do you think the bird felt man bird was just flying what the hell did he come from no i didn't see him fool get off me this is gonna hurt You realize for the rest of this man's life, you could never give him any safety tips. What kind of safety tip could you give to somebody who survived falling out of a plane? You could never be in a car and go, Bob. You need to fasten your seatbelt. I fell out of a goddamn plane, man. How high do you plan on driving this car? 